Hi viewers, welcome to LMA Solution. Today we are going to see about modeling and simulation of proton exchange membrane fuel cells. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification of upcoming videos. So first we have to see the uh, some reference paper. So I have used this paper for simulating that the modeling and model and simulate the proton exchange membrane fuel cell. So here you can see the different uh, detail, right? Now to model that uh, proton exchange membrane fuel cell. So here you can see that so this is a fuel cell voltage VFC, which is equal to E nernus minus V activation and minus v omic minus v concentration so so this is a fuel cell whole voltage equation and then suppose if suppose n cells connected in series and final fuel cell stack voltage which is equal to vs into vs equal to n into vfc so here you can see that nernest uh, 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 potential of each unit cell in the fuel cell and then we act nothing but a voltage drop associated with the activation of anode and of the cathode and we ohmic nothing but ohmic voltage drop so this is nothing but measure of voltage drop associated with the conduction of proton electrons and uh, finally next we have what concentration voltage so represents the voltage drop resulting from the uh, decrease in concentration of oxygen and hydrogen okay so this is the uh, detail about the two different voltage in the fuel cell so each have some uh, equation right so first we can see that nernus right so this <laughs> equation for nernus uh, the thermodynamics of that uh, uh, thermodynamic potential of that fuel cell okay so it consists of uh, that means it depends upon uh, temperature fuel cell temperature and pressure of the hydrogen and pressure of the oxygen right and next you can see that activation voltage so it depends upon different parameter that parameter nothing but zeta 1 2 3 temperature and then ifc okay the zeta 1 zeta 2 nothing but parameter coefficient so that can be taken from the uh, data taken from the real time fuel cell okay so next ohmic potential which is which is equal to ifc into rm to rc so rc nothing but contact resistance rm nothing but membrane resistance okay so it depends upon the following parameter that means rho m into l dot of a e. A, L nothing but a thickness and uh, A nothing but a cell active area. Okay. And next, finally, we have concentration voltage, so which is equal to minus B into ln 1 minus J B J max. Okay. So J nothing but current density and then J max nothing maximum current density of the fuel cell. Okay. So B nothing but a constant is depends on the cell type. Okay. So next, you have to see the uh, CO2 equation, right? Uh, CO2 can be calculated by means of this equation. So, same way we can calculate Rm, that means Rm equal to rho m dot by A. So, Rm that means rho m nothing but uh, membrane specific resistivity, so that can be calculated by means of this equation. Okay. So, these are the equation used for uh, modeling that uh, fuel cell. The same equation can be used for uh, simulating that, uh, uh, sum simulating the fuel cell in the MATLAB simulation. So here we can uh, check the results, different results. That means we can check the, the uh, graph between stack voltage and stack current. And also we can check the uh, response of the system by varying the zeta one, zeta 1, right? So we can check this result. And then we can check the result of, of this fuel cell with varying zeta 3. Okay. So 
we are going to see the following details in the simulation so now i'm going to open the matlab also i'm going to open field cell detail already we implemented the equation So here you can see the detail, right? So this detail is, is taken from the paper, right? That means here, so you can see here, right? Yeah, this one. So they provided that uh, some uh, fuel cell, 500 watts fuel cell detail, right? Number of cell, active area, thickness, temperature, pressure of oxygen, pressure of hydrogen, contact resistance, and then constant based upon cell type zeta 1, 2, 3, and 4 at psi j and j max, and then c. Okay, so same detail we are going to use the simulation also here, right? So, this is the detail is taken from the paper. So, here uh, that mean. <coughs> That equation, right? That field cell equation here depends upon IFC, right? So here IFC is taken as the input. So now to get that graph between stack voltage and the current, okay? So I am going to create that for loop. So they have taken as 500 watts, right? And then the maximum current it can drawn that went on from the fuel cell is around 29.8 times so i'm going to vary the ifc from 0 to 29.8 with the 0.1 amps increment okay so every ifc current i'm going to calculate earnest voltage co2 z2 so z2 so can be uh, that means this this equation can is taken from the term paper okay here right the same equation used for calculating what is that do and then activation voltage and then uh, uh, rho m and then rm and then ohmic voltage and then concentration voltage so finally we have to combine that a different equation or to find out the phase of voltage and then current so finally we have to that when draw the uh, graph between uh, fields of current and the field cell voltage. So I'm going to simulate this model. So here you can see that this, this is the result of that uh, consider a field cell stack. So graph between field cell voltage and current. Uh, just to have to compare <laughs> with the result of that paper. So here you can see that so this is a result simulation result that meant that uh, That this line, that block line, right? So, result of simulation. So, same kind of result we are getting. Okay. So, next we have to test the same model with uh, different settings of uh, zeta 1, zeta 2, zeta 1, right? So, minus 0 0.85, minus 948, minus 1.0, 1.4, so 1.043. So, for that, we created the same thing, right? Here, we are fixing that uh, parameter coefficient for z1 minus 0 0.853 minus 0 0.948 minus 1.043 so you have to pass this value and then we have to draw the graph for that field cell so i'm going to simulate this model yeah, you will get this result right so you can check the the same result that will result with that uh, paper right here you can see that we are getting same kind of graph when compared to the paper results, right? So when we change that uh, parameter z down, right? The graph will be shifted uh, downwards, right? When you have to um, increase that, or uh, sorry, decrease that uh, z down from minus 0 0.853 to minus 0 0.948, the graph is shifted downwards, right? When the C double is uh, uh, degrees from minus 0 0.948 to minus 1.043, so one sign that graph is uh, shifted to 
below that previous one, right? So next you have to vary that zeta 3, right? For different value of zeta 3, you have to check the response of the fuel cell. So next, I'm going to open this model. So here we taken three value for that uh, zeta 3. So the each value when we process to the, the program, and then you have to plot the graph between fuel cell voltage and current. Okay. First, I'm going to simulate this model. So now you can see that. So this is a graph for that fuel cell voltage and current for different settings of zeta 3. Right. Uh, here I'm going to compare that result with the paper results. Right. So here also you can see that we are getting similar kind of result. That means uh, that and the graph is shifted downwards because of uh, <coughs> increasing that uh, zeta 3. Okay. So this uh, uh, this this video explained about that uh, modeling and distribution of the proton exchange moment fuel cell. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification of uh, notification about upcoming videos. Thank you, thank you so much.